Preparations are in full force for the National Day celebration on October 10th. Soldiers braved the rain Wednesday morning to rehearse for the annual parade outside the presidential office. The offices of several political parties say they've received their invitations to the event, with the KMT chairman saying that he will attend. Meanwhile, the pro-unification new party plans to boycott, saying National Day under the Thai administration no longer celebrates the ROC. A jet crosses the sky above the presidential office to test the weather conditions Wednesday morning. A fly-pass rehearsal was postponed from Tuesday to Wednesday, then cancelled altogether due to low-level clouds. Fighter jet enthusiasts had gathered outside the presidential office to watch, but they left disappointed. Earlier in the day, soldiers had braved the relentless rain to rehearse in front of the building. Marching in formation, the honor guard filed in for a rifle spinning drill. No music was played, but each step, stomp and rifle twirl was perfectly timed in an astonishing show of martial precision. Then came the military police command's rapid response force. There were majesty in motion as they went past the presidential office building. Undeterred by the weather, the motorcycle company showed that it's ready to ride, rain or shine. It's been an unusual 2020. This year's National Day Parade will feature hero vehicles used in Taiwan's fight against the coronavirus. No guests from overseas were invited to the celebration, but some 230 representatives and officials already in Taiwan will attend. Organizers have also invited former presidents and representatives of Taiwan's political parties. The KMT is the founding party of the ROC, which is turning 109 this year. We'll go and loudly sing the national anthem and wish the ROC a happy birthday. It's a very happy occasion because everyone comes together. It's good. Johnny Chang will attend in his capacity as the chairman of the KMT. The new power party, the People First Party and the Taiwan People's Party have also confirmed that they will attend. The Taiwan State Building Party, however, has said it's unable to attend due to a scheduling conflict. The new party has also declined its invitation, saying on social media that it was due to ideological differences.